In this episode of Teach Me Something, Christine Andreessen tries to teach Long how to develop integrity and stick to your words. Christine Andreessen is a luxury specialist, a real estate broker, national real estate coach, keynote speaker, landmark seminar leader, and CEO of Christine and Company. Will Long learn something new from Christine? We will find out on this episode of... Welcome to Teach Me Something, where our experts have two minutes to teach something new. I'm your host, Jesse Zagorski. Meet Long Dome. Long knows a lot about everything, but specifically real estate and leadership. Long has sold thousands of houses, but there's one thing you should know about him. Every day, he is committed to learning something new. And if he doesn't learn something new, he has to read a book for at least 20 minutes. Long loves to learn, but he hates reading books. Well, that's not totally true, but you get the idea. And Long has a short attention span because his brain is always thinking, which is why our contestants only have two minutes. Let's see if Long can learn something new on Teach Me Something. So I'm super excited for Christine to teach Long something because you, Christine, you know so much about so many things. And I don't even know what you're going to talk about in these two minutes, but like, are you ready to rock? Sure, let's go. All right, I'm going to set a timer on my phone for two minutes and you will be ready to go. I've got my timer here, two minutes. All right. Go for it. All right, Long, are you ready? Here's what I, I got to say. Yes? Yes, I am. Without integrity, nothing, nothing works. Now, I'm not talking about morals or being a good person. I'm talking about having a profound relationship with your word that alters your life. And most real estate agents don't relate to their word that way. I'm talking about integrity both in your actions and in the context you create for life. I mean, integrity in action is pretty basic. You do what you say. One of the exercises we do at Christine and Company every day is we say five things in the morning that we're going to complete no matter what before our head hits the pillow. And then at the end of the day, all the agents say whether they did it or not. Why? Because I want my team to have the experience of winning. I want them to know themselves as someone whose word comes true in the world. But what I really want to share with you today is even more importantly, your word also creates your experience of life. And most people don't relate to integrity as what you say about your circumstances or what you say about your life. But that's still your word. See, if I say I'm going to do Legion for three hours, it's obvious if I keep my word because I'll be on the phones for three hours. But if I'm miserable the whole time, if I'm saying this won't work, this makes no difference, I can't do it, this sucks, then that robs me of power. I won't be productive and it won't work. I mean, think about it. What has more of an impact on your experience of life? What you actually have happen in your life or what you say about it? See, if you create a relationship to integrity as you have all the say in the way you relate to everything and you're constantly tending to what you're saying, then you feed yourself power, you'll find yourself more effective, more empowered, and you'll produce breakthrough results. And if you don't, it won't work. How's that for two minutes? That was an amazing two minutes. <laughs> Bam. I love it. Wow. Ahead of time. I mean, it was like almost spot on. <laughs> I, I think she might have. So, so long. Where do you want to start with that? Because that was a lot in two minutes. That was really yeah. good, Christine. So, yes, I agree with everything Christine said. Um, I did learn that, you know, the five things in the morning. I love that. Uh, but everything, I agree with everything she said. And that's awesome. Yeah. So, so can, can I ask a question then? So, so Going deeper, how do you, so you say five things in the morning, then you're going to do them by the night. That's a very easy way to get it started. How else do you develop that sense? Like what, what should agents be doing on a daily basis? Yeah, well, one of the things we make sure with those five things is that they're five things they control. See, you can't say I'm going to go show a buyer house. Yes, you should do that. But if that buyer stands you up, then you just lost your game. So say five things, you know, you have all the power here to do. So they really can experience winning. And that's my biggest thing is I want them to set themselves up with ways they can win and start to know themselves as someone whose word really does come true. Huh. And does just doing that build that habit day after day? Is that like, is that what starts to build it? It does. And then we, you know, we do this in the morning on WhatsApp. We complete it at the evening on WhatsApp. 
that's also building the muscle. Half the time they're like, dang it, I fell asleep and I didn't tell you I won my game five of five. Now I blew it. My word was shot. And I'm like, nope. Now you just get to complete that. You didn't do what you said and do what you say. And then the other thing is we do on the huddle really create intentions. All right, good. So those are the five things you can do no matter what. But I'm also intending, I'm writing two offers today. I'll be mutual by Monday. Okay, let's have that word come true. Right? So it's building that muscle of them knowing themselves as a powerful person who says something. But Jesse, I think the thing that you're, I think the thing that's most important that I said that I haven't said how we do is that empowering context for people. Because if they relate, you know, it's really interesting. I have a gentleman right now who his first language is French. So every time he speaks, my whole team swoons. But for him, it's a barrier. He can't be on the phones. He hates Legion because he thinks people don't understand him. I'm like, I'll trade you. I'll pay you. You know, I wish I had that accent. But in his in, in his context, it's a barrier. I love the idea of the empowering context. So, so Long, did, did you learn something new out of, out of that? I, I'm pretty sure you did, right? Oh, yeah, ab- absolutely. I, I mean, it's a very broad concept. I think it makes sense. So I love that. Uh, I think I might actually ask my team to try doing that, you know, uh, three to five things, whatever they want to do. Uh, you know, with me, I'm, I'm a big process system guy. So maybe the WhatsApp will be an automatic reminder in the morning for everyone to do it, an automatic reminder at night for them to report back what they did or didn't do. Um, but other than that, I love it. Nailed it. Christine, two fun. minutes, you did it. You feel good? Yeah, fun, fun. I was so fun. I was mostly looking forward to being with you two. <laughs> I haven't been to see either of you in so long. I know. Produced by the Agent Collective Media Network.